So our next guiding principle is social uplift, which goes right along with community service. So the purpose of a society is to uplift all its members. What is the point of joining a society as an individual if all it does is take from you? Right now we exist, specifically our people exist, in a predatory situation in relationship to our society. We seek to turn that around. So the point of our whole organization is social uplift, specifically for our people, but generally for all people. And it's about having compassion. You know, when we see someone down and out, they, we have nothing but negative things to say uh, for the most part. But people can become down and out because they lost their job, because they got sick. Most of us is one or two paychecks away from being bankrupt ourselves. You know, we may have the fancy clothes on or drive the fancy cars. But again, all of that is predicated upon someone else's goodwill to give you a job. But our people don't create enough jobs to uh, uh, hire all of the people in our race who wants jobs. So social uplift is something that we hold dear. And when we talk about social uplift, we're talking about coming up with root solutions to a lot of the problems that cause people to be in social despair in the first place. Um, we're not talking about just throwing away money to a situation that can't be improved, but we're talking about having funds set aside for emergencies. So if you get fired off your job, you'll have uh, access to capital to hold you over for three months. If you're at, on the verge of losing your car, which won't allow you to go to, to work, we'll have funds set up for you to be able to bridge that gap. When we talk about social uplift, when Arkey was speaking earlier, he was talking about you know the things we see every day in society. And on the way home, oftentimes we'll see someone homeless, someone hungry, someone in need. We oftentimes just walk right past this person and ignore them. What does that do to our spirit? What does that do to us as a people, as a society? So if we don't put this at the forefront of our mind that we wanna do something different and be something different, then we'll constantly be looking away and that chips away at our soul. I believe, and the Black Achievement Fund believes, that not just black people, but humans in general are spiritual, good-hearted people. As such, we have to give ourselves the ability to manifest that. The Black Achievement Fund will do so in two ways. Number one, we're creating a safety net for all of our members. So as far as free housing or discounted housing, free health care, employment opportunities, self-employment opportunities, Every opportunity we create, we seek to give the individual their dignity back. Because that's all any human being wants is dignity. Social uplift isn't just some pie in the sky morality. Or welfare. <laughs> right, it's something, it, it is a concept and a guiding principle for us because it is the essence of any true society. If we're not operating under, under a philosophy or guiding principle of social uplift, then we're all just individuals out on our own, hoping that nothing bad happens to us. Exactly. I believe, and the Black Achievement Fund believes, that society is better than that. We can accomplish more than individuals doing okay. We can be a greater whole.